Hello students. Well, I would like to start with a simple question. Why is the virus increasing rapidly in Bangalore? Number of cases are increasing day by day. Why is it so? Because the people do not obey the laws. Although the government takes strict measures, people are out for no reason at all. So when the lockdown was lifted, I just walked down to the grocery shop to fetch a few items. What attracted me was the notice board just put outside the shop. It was funny, yet meant a lot for this pandemic situation. The statement goes like this. Make your choice. Either be at home or in the hospital or in the photo frame. In short, we need to obey laws to control every situation. What happens when the law is broken? It leads to unrest and total confusion disturbing the peaceful atmosphere. So what is required in order to establish peace in the country? In order to establish peace in the country, courts are required or we say judiciary is required. So well, today my lesson in civics is the Judiciary Unit 1, the Supreme Court. Here you see on the board explained to you about the single integrated judiciary system. In India, we follow the single integrated judiciary system. What is the meaning of single integrated judiciary system? The law is one and the same for all the courts, be it Supreme Court, High Court or the subordinate court. Unlike America where there is two laws, one law for the country and one law for the states. So they have what type of government over there? You need to tell me. So the Supreme Court seat is in Delhi and it is called as the Apex Court. Why is it called as the Apex Court? Because its verdict is final and nobody's got the right to change once it decides and puts forth its verdict. But there is a special power given to the president or you can take the example of Afsal Guru, the parliament who did the parliament attack. So the president pardoned him and reduced his punishment from death penalty to life imprisonment. So when I come to that particular original jurisdiction and appellate jurisdiction, I'll be explaining in detail. So the Supreme Court is the top of the entire structure followed by the High Court and the subordinate court. So this we say it as the single integrated judiciary system because law is one and the same, be it the Supreme Court, High Court, and the subordinate court.